In another video, I talked about how I studied for step one. In this video, I want to talk about how I actually kind of went day to day, how I used first aid, how I annotated, things like that. So in the first things first, what the very first thing that I did is I took the binding off and I put it in a binder. So if you can see here on the side, it's just in a binder. Okay, so I, I went to, I think it was Kinko's or something like that and asked them to just take off the binding and I hold punched everything and I put it in this binder. And the, the good thing about it was that I could take notes. So I had other notes, whether they, they were from other textbooks or whether or not they were from um, just other resources that I thought were very useful. Specifically, they were generally tables or, or approaches to different things. Um, and I just was able to put them in. If there was a certain handout that I liked from school, I could put that into, into step one. And something that I was commonly referencing. Because what you'll realize over time, and I know a lot of people say this and you may not believe it, is that you'll memorize things not based off of their context, but by where they are in first aid. Um, so you'll actually will, will memorize different tables and things like that based off of where they're located, uh, not actually the information that can, is within there. And it sounds crazy, but uh, and I didn't believe it at first, but eventually you'll realize that that's what actually happens. And so that's kind of what I did. I, I, when I went through Pathoma, I would, I would jot things down and kind of put in my little notes um, in between all of these things. And I would also highlight things and, and go through it like that. So I think that that for me was really helpful as one is taking resources from other things, from other textbooks that I really liked and putting them into my first aid. I thought that that was really helpful because initially I was just shoving things into the book and it just gets really heavy and that's not very useful. Um, but this for me was very, was very a, a good way to be organized. And it looks kind of like it's in disarray, but this, I'm surprised I even have this textbook still around. Um, so that's kind of how I used it. The other thing that I thought was very helpful was also in, in color coding. So everybody has a system, my system kind of worked like this. So everything would kind of start off a, with these little, you see all these little tags on the side. They would all start off um, with this green color tag. And these were things that um, were things that I wanted to review daily. These were things that when it came down to dedicated study time, um, these were things that I, I knew were extremely high yield for one, but also things that I had a very low command of. So these were things that I knew would show up on a lot of tests, a lot of questions we would hit on these points, and I really didn't wasn't able to memorize them well. So things like vasculitis, a lot of the biochem section, a lot of the antibiotic section, you'll see um, have most of the greens. Then they would kind of be upgraded. So I, I started off um, with the greens and then eventually I would go to the blues. So this is an example of something that was blue. So something that at one point in time I knew was very important, but I, I had a little bit more command of, but I was still kind of messing everything up. So things like all these tumor suppressor and also all the tumor markers, things that I knew showed up fairly frequently, uh, but I, I was able to memorize them a little bit better. Um, and then they kind of got upgraded. So after the blue came the yellow. And I think at some point in time I also just ran out of post-it notes, so I kind of blended them. But like just for Simplicity sake, that's kind of how they went. They went from green to blue and now to yellow. These were things that I, I was pretty okay with. I, I, I understood, I, I was able to memorize them pretty well, and eventually it went to the red, where these were things that I just wanted to maybe memorize maybe once a month. Uh, or maybe once a week, something like that. Um, so the blues and the, the greens, I was, I was trying to memorize maybe daily or, or maybe every other day. And then the yellows and the reds, those are things that I could probably get away with memorizing or looking over every week or every month. Because what you'll find is that when you're going through first aid for the first time or maybe even the second time, it's perfect. You can just kind of go at your own pace, let's do the GI section today, let's do the renal section the next day and so on and so forth. But when it comes down to dedicated time, this will really be a lifesaver because you cannot go through every, you'll, you'll, it may look like I marked every single page, but I actually didn't. There's maybe, you know, 50 to 80 pages that I marked of the greens and the blues, maybe only 30 pages that I marked. So every single day during dedicated, I was kind of flip-flopping between let's do the greens today, let's do the blues tomorrow, and then at the end of the week, let's do the yellows or the reds. So it was to the point where I could really focus on what was important. I could focus on what was gonna be the most important thing in this textbook, because not every page is created equally, 
when it came down to dedicated time, I wasn't looking through every single page. And then you'll see the vertical ones was really the day before the test, what did I want to just cram into my brain. Right before the test, these were the pages that I knew I needed to study that I just couldn't handle. Um, to memorize beforehand. And so kind of that's how my approach to using first aid that, that worked for me. I think that everybody has their own approach. This may, be, may look kind of psychotic, uh, but that was the approach that I used and I think it, it worked pretty well for me. And maybe you can take at least something out of this um, to kind of build a system for yourself. Be sure to check out medicalbasics.com for more educational resources like our HP notebook. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.